Good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Praise the Lord. He's blessed us with this Friday, last Friday of 2022, and given us an opportunity to walk in agreement and uh, submission to his will. Before we get started with our lesson, let's go to God in prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we come to you this morning uh, grateful for all that you've done for your creation. We are grateful for the control that you exhibit over the evil that exists here. And we wait patiently for you to send your son Jesus back again to take dominion completely over this world to restore it and to allow us to exist with you and your Son and your Holy Spirit forever and ever. Illuminate your word for us this morning, Father, and give us wisdom. Wisdom and the encouragement to study more, to read your word more, to be blessed by your truth in a more complete, mature way, so that we're not walking in sin, but we're walking in agreement with your righteousness. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, this morning's daily devotional is titled, God's Word Discerns and Dissects, from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12 through 16. <clears throat> and it says, For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast want our profession, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord for his goodness and his power. I love how powerful God is. No evil can overcome him. That comforts me and gives me peace. All right, quick, quick lesson. We're at the end. Section 3B, the way of blessing. Uh, the reference is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. And it reads, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shall thy find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. The commentary
commentary says this passage <clears throat> this passage by Solomon serves as a sunset summary of this lesson but adds a few more dimensions intently receiving and actively incorporating the word of God automatically brings about the promise of God we are warned however not to be singularly focused on ourselves or even our families. It is possible, possible to become so focused on the book that we fail to implement the contents of the book. Mercy is a rich and complex term that is best understood as God's love in action flowing through our lives to others. Truth includes veracity, but also conveys faithfulness and a made-up mind. These characteristics should be a vital part of our lives. Bind and right can be evident to God and people around us. They should flow naturally from us, from our heart, and will result in acceptance and grace or favor, as well as a positive response from God and others. All right, conclusion, choose the right path. <clears throat> there is before us a path with an intersection. One road in the path leads to foolishness and destruction. The other leads to wisdom and the provision of the Most High. Let us choose for ourselves, our families, and our churches the way of favor, understanding, prosperity, longevity, and a vibrant relationship with God. As we embrace, live out, and teach the word, there is no doubt about our path or our destination. Amen. Amen to that. We are blessed. We are blessed when we follow God. In order to stay in that blessing, we need to continue to seek God, study His Word, and to follow Him and make all of our decisions based on His truth. His truth is a light and it brings freedom. Freedom from the wages of sin and death. We have life when we, when we embrace God's truth. We must embrace it and make it our own. When we make it our own, we become like Christ. So, be like Christ. Choose God's truth. Thank you and have a blessed day.